Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take my M.2 drives and uh, setting them with a with a pair of heat sinks and see if it will help them with thermal performance. M.2 drives doesn't get very hot at all, so this is just for science and uh, let's begin working with them so we're going to start with my M.2 SATA SSD and peel off the sticker on it And then we have to use some alcohol to clean off the residue a bit from the sticker. Take some paper and clean it off. And then we're going to take this thermal adhesive and put it on there. And peel off the top of it. There we are. And then just line up the heat sink and press down a little bit. And here we have it. That's one, we're going to do two. So it's the same procedure all over again. And uh, this is my Intel 660p one terabyte NVMe SSD. And some alcohol again. And some paper to clean it off. And then Then just peel off the top again. And put on the heat sink and there we are. Two heat sinks. And let's do some testing. And we're back from our testing and on our Intel SSD we saw an 
idle temperature of 32 degrees before the heat sink and after we install the heat sink we saw a temperature of 30 degrees so two degrees difference there and on our stress test of it we saw if we had a 36 degrees before the heat sink and a 38 degrees after the heat sink and now on, on our western digital m.2 SATA ssd the idle temperature before the heat sink was 44 degrees and after the heat sink 37 degrees so it's seven degrees difference and uh, our max temperature before the heat sink was 38, uh, 48 degrees and uh, 44 degrees after the heat sink which is just 4 degrees difference so so is it worth it to put on heat sinks on your SSDs? I would say no but if you want to I can put a link in the description below to Amazon where I bought these they were like four heat sinks for like four bucks or something and uh, I'll see you guys next time